Hey everybody, and welcome back to this Mass Effect 2 Let's Play. Uh, today, we will be finishing off the recruitment mission for Morton. We're heading into the Plague Zone, where we're going to talk to these Vorcha about a very serious issue facing the world today. And that issue is teen pregnancy. Switch up. Maybe we won't be doing that. Who knows? Who knows? Wow, really? Right away, change weapons. Boy, if I'd remembered doing this. Okay, here we go. Um, this particular area, um, it's really easy to get fl uh, flanked by the enemies in, especially the uh, couple of Krogan that show up. It can definitely be a um, just a clusterfuck waiting to happen. There's a ton of Vorja hiding, you know, with fuck back there. Um, generally speaking, what you want to do is not let your squad mates do what Jacob just did and run out in the middle of everything like an idiot. That's a great way to get them killed. And then you'll get sued for promoting, you know, negative racial stereotypes because Jacob is black and he'll be the first one to die. You know, people get mad about these types of things. Which, speaking as a black man myself, I think he's just an idiot. But that's me. Anyway, we've got a Krogan coming in here. And as such, he becomes kind of my first priority. But as you can see, he's kind of dead, so nothing to worry about here. I think my aim is slowly improving as I play this. Emphasis on slowly. My WASD control is also getting a little bit better. As you can see, I very much favor the pistol. I mean, part of that is because, you know, as I mentioned before, the shuriken is just garbage. But part of it is because I love the phalanx. It's fun. Makes cool shooty sounds. You, you know the sound it makes. Don't make me do that again. I'll show you up close and personal, bitch. Oh! Who, who's the big man now, woman? Who is the big person that's beating people up? Or shooting them? Yeah. Wow, that is just awesome aiming and gun control. Like, hey, I'm just gonna stand there and wait for you. Wow, even better aim. I am just great at this. Charge in. Have to reload, that was really foolish. Like a chump. God, that was terrible. Charge into a Krogan with one round in the clip left. Or rather, one round before I need to put in a new heat sink. I'm kind of with Conrad. This, it's, might as well be limited ammunition. Although I do understand the way that, you know, munitions work in Mass Effect. It's not actually firing bullets. It's actually got a large block of metal inside of the gun, and it shaves off small pieces and uh, uses a Mass Effect field generator to accelerate them to high speeds. So basically you're shooting shrapnel at people. Little tiny pieces. As opposed to, you know, actual bullets. Boom. Finally I do something right. Except I still had the one round in the chamber. What a noob. There we go. And that's the end of that. Pick up some Metagel here. And by Metagel, I mean credits. 
Um, some of you may not be familiar enough with the Mass Effect universe to know that in it, cash rules everything around you. Cream, get the money. Dollar dollar bills, y'all. As emphasized here. Oh god, is this that one hacking segment that I went through that was just utter bullshit? Yes, I think it is. Maybe it's not. No, it's not. Okay. One of the, um, in one of the videos, I think it might be the next one, um, there is a hacking segment where there is literally no way to get through it without going through one or two of the X's. Which is bullshit. As you well know. But whatever. It's, 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 it's whatever. You know. More hacking. That one was much quicker. And now we come to the point where it's time to uh, save the game. And by the game, I mean Morden's assistant, Daniel. I'm telling you the truth. I work for Morden at the clinic. I came here to help you. We know you're spreading the plague virus. We saw the vials in your bag. No, those vials contain the cure. Please, you have to believe me. Yes, I'm so stupid that I turned off your fingers. the your life support for this entire area and then moved in with the plague virus. I am that brilliant of a tactician. I know you're scared oh, of the virus of the plague, but this man isn't to blame. If he was spreading the virus, why would he come into Vorcha territory? They're immune. Herp. She's right. Doesn't make any See, sense. People never use their heads. The prisoner, we can go. You have my word on it. Everybody wants to Let jump to go. conclusions, but nobody wants to think them through before they jump there. I'll be free to go. We had a deal. Human nobility. It's like know, so they've they been watching a lot of Office Space and they decided that the jump to conclusions map was a great idea. Morden send you to find me? The professor could use your help. For those right of you now. who may be wondering, okay. it, in All fact, right. is not a good idea. It is a bad one. That is what many people most can't the least, as they say. And here we come into another really quick fight. It's nothing major. Hostile. Yes, Jacob. Hostiles, we know. Shoot him in the face a couple of times. Moving to target. Move. Yes, you move to target. And that's the end of that. I'm here. Be right there. Yes, Jacob, we know you're there. We didn't lose you. That's, you know, not what's going on here. We've been fully aware of your whereabouts this entire time. Oh shit, what was that? Somebody just shoot something at me? Yes, they did! This makes Shepard angry! Shepard smash! You won't like her when she's angry. It's important in situations like this to take out the assholes up top first. Because they will just rain down missile hell. Well, rockets really. But they will just keep shooting those fucking things at you forever while you, you know, try and kill these people that are just shooting, you know, standard weapons fire at you. In short, shrapnel, not as important as the missiles, because those missiles will fuck you up and knock you away from cover and leave you exposed to get shot by more shrapnel bullets. Sure 
I've got Jacob using the Geth Plasma Shotgun, and honestly, for uh, any time you've got a squad mate using a shotgun with you, it's best to give them the Geth Plasma Shotgun. Um, the Claymore, it, it, I mean, obviously the only person who can use the Claymore is Grunt, but generally speaking, what you need to remember is that obviously all the weapons have their, you know, effective firing ranges and everything. And if you've got someone using a shotgun, yes, obviously, you're going to want them to be a little bit closer in. But if you're playing as a class that's already, you know, focused on close combat, i.e., if you've also got a shotgun, then you want them to kind of cover um, mid-range with that. Which is honestly where the Vanguard is it's at its weakest. Obviously, they'll fuck you up in close combat with charge and melee and um, your shotgun of choice. But you want your squad mates to back you up. Usually that means taking out people's shields and barriers, which points to SMG or um, you know, sniper rifle fire. But in the case of people like Jacob who are pistol and shotgun, uh, obviously you don't need them manning the pistol because the pistol's just not as good. So you give them the Geth Plasma Shotgun, which is fairly accurate at long ranges and has um, it's got a tighter spread, but it can actually still hit multiple people with its uh, spray. It's good stuff. I don't use it myself. Um, as you see here, I'm actually rocking the Eviscerator, which, I mean, it's not bad. It's perfectly fine as a shotgun, but generally speaking, when you're looking at the shotguns, you've got two extremes. You've got the Claymore, which is a you know, one round clip, deals incredible damage, and then at the other end of the spectrum you've got the scimitar, which deals less damage, but fires more quickly and has an eight round clip to it. Um, then you got the eviscerator in the middle, which fires not nearly as slowly as the claymore, but still, uh, like I said, it's, it's very middle ground, and I really, really prefer the scimitar uh, for my playstyle. And the same holds true for Mass Effect 3, I mean, um, really, the only one round clip weapon that I can say I enjoy is the Widow, and that's just in this game, which is understandable because the Widow is the most powerful gun in the game, I think. Um, it, it is capable of just destroying enemies. Um, you know, cutting through them. Uh, to quote Barrist and Selmy, carving through them like a cake. Um, but yeah, I mean, generally speaking, I, I definitely roll, um, you know, kind of more rapid fire. So, I mean, in Mass Effect 3, I prefer the Black Widow to the Widow, but I prefer the Valiant to the Black Widow because it does fire more quickly reloads more quickly, deals very similar damage, and weighs less. Anyways, I've kind of been talking through these fights because they're, you know, not really all that important. But at this point, we are uh, making our way up to the area in which the final battle begins. Just looking for items. Double check to make sure I hadn't missed any. Um, this is one of those games where if you miss items inside of a mission, you're never going to get them again. Um, like the upgrades and things like that, which are really, really super important. And here we go. Best line in the entire game. Break fans! So great. I love it. Collectors ain't gonna make you shit. They made you dead. Because I'm going to kill you. Vorcha no like doctor. We kill you first. They've seen us. And here, everyone thought it couldn't possibly be the Vorcha, but I knew better. In my heyday, they once said, "Hey, the Reapers can't possibly exist." I proved them all wrong. They said Shepard, 
Surely you must be joking when you say that the Citadel wasn't built by the Protheans. Charge in. Find the guy and then waste around. Thanks, Edie. That's good looking out. I really, really like Edie. Um, she is my one of my—I I won't say my favorite support character, although she probably is. Um, she is one of my favorite support characters in this game, and obviously one of my favorite characters in um, Mass Effect Three, both a a as a squad mate and as someone who's just, you know, kind of there. She's great. Yes! This technically the appropriate term is it is great because ED is a collection of programs. ED could be likened to a geth. She obviously is not. I, I, I don't know, it's a big whole thing. I call ED she. Possibly because of the voice. Possibly because of the body choice. Who knows? Who knows? This is one of the few cases where you do want to kind of eliminate the guys on the ground first. Because the you know, the ground-based Vorcha will just fucking rush you. And you'll get shot to pieces trying to get the other guys. Um, there's pretty decent cover. And in this case, you can actually take cover on those... Um, you know, kind of walls. Um, rather than the half walls, you can get vertical cover, which is very, very helpful. These fights can be, uh, on the sides here, can be a little bit rougher, simply because they do have an annoying habit of just moving forward. They've got plenty of health, obviously in some armor, but with this, it's not so much... I mean, as long as you hang back, you'll be fine. But it's not so much you that you should be worried about as it is your squad mates. Um, because in fights like this, having some squad mates can really save your bacon. Can't reach the target. Maybe you don't like bacon. Uh, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent to it myself. I mean, it's okay. If we're talking about breakfast foods, I, I prefer, you know, sausage to the, the bacon. But that's neither here nor there. The point is, it can save your various breakfast meats. One down, one to go. Let's move. Let's do this. Let's do it, motherfucker! Coming out of these can also be a little tricky. Because you're having... You have to move towards them. And they're also moving towards you. You have no choice but to move your way out. As you can see here, I'm, you know, getting my barriers torn to pieces, and I'm down to uh, about two thirds health. Oh my god! Fucking gargling sounds these things make. The Vorcha have the best sounds of any enemy. Makes me sad that they did not tr come back in Mass Effect 3. This is a very, very poor charge. Just come right in, ignore that guy right there! Awesome idea. Charge! And he's gone. The other thing you have to worry about is ammo. Uh, because in this case, these dick holes just or not dropping ammo. I mean, you see here, I've got about six rounds left in the shotgun with a Krogan coming at me. Not great. The worst part is, there's no ammo up here. Which means I do have to fight my way through all of these without any. Which is fine, I mean, they're mostly, you know, pretty distant, so it's not a huge deal. But still. There we go. Mm. 
Best ambient noises award goes to Vorcha. I mean, the collectors don't really do anything other than, you know, shout at you, I know you feel this, and things like that. I mean, Gap had nothing to say, obviously. Or rather, nothing that we can understand. Which leads to the Krogans with their... <laughs> you know, which... Whatever. And then your... You know, various other merc groups, your Blue Suns, your Eclipse. Deploying warp fields! You know, whatever, but... It, it's the Vorcha. You'll notice here that I'm doing my best to, um, even when they're in cover, try and uh, take some quick shots at whatever exposed body parts I can get to. Sometimes it's their head, sometimes it's their shoulder, their elbow, you know, kind of whatever. And this is actually good practice for later. In fact, the first, you know, kind of scripted plot story mission on Horizon does have one of those situations. Which I absolutely will be showing to you when we get there. Ow. How dare you burn me. Wow, that's a great shot, Shepard. Awesome cover taking. Even better not being shot at by the enemy. Way to go. Charge in. Boom. You're dead. And that, my friends, is uh, all the enemies dead. Quick look, pick up a meta gel. I say meta gel, but it's actually credits. And that's the end. That is the end of combat for this mission, and it transports us back to Morden. Environmental systems engaged. Airborne viral levels dropping. Patients improving. Vorcha retreating. Well done, Shepard. Thank you. No, thank, thank you, you Morden. Well. Those battalions would have killed. You me. go fuck yourself. For a second, there, I don't like I you. Thought you were going to shoot them even after they let me go. You're an idiot. I made a promise to spare them if they let you go. I honor my promises. Merciful of you. Risky. Would have killed them myself. Professor, how can you say that? You're a doctor. You believe in helping people. Do I? Lots of ways to help people. Sometimes heal patients. Sometimes Do execute I? dangerous people. Either way helps. Go check on the patients. Lots of work to do. Think about what I said. Make faces me all you want, motherfucker. Good kid, bit naive. He'll learn. Letting him take over the clinic should be able to handle it now that Vorja are gone. We've cured the plague. Are you ready to help stop the Collectors? Yes. Unexpected to be working with Cerberus. Many surprises. Just need to finish up here at the clinic. Won't take long. Meet you at your ship. Looking forward to it. We're heading out. Me we'll see you too. In Normandy. Woo! Mission complete. And googly eyes. Look at those some more. <laughs> Anyways, Metagel and Assault Rifle. Damage upgrades. Metagel, not quite as helpful as the damage upgrade for the Assault Rifle. But at this point, I don't have anyone with an Assault Rifle. So the point is kind of moot. However. Ho oh, ho. However. Welcome to the Normandy, we'll be getting Professor. one soon. It's an honor to have you on board. Yes, very exciting. Cerberus working with aliens. Unexpected. Elusive man branching out, maybe? I like these. So this, these little... Hey, we recruited you. Let's... You're very well informed. Let's, uh... Salarian you know, let's rap. Let's feelings jam. Had top-level clearance once. Retired now. Still, hear things. Informed of name only. No knowledge of man behind it. Anti-alien reputation listed as problematic. Don't kid yourself, Professor. Humans still come first in the elusive man's eyes. This mission is too big for them to handle alone. The Collectors are abducting human colonists out on the fringes of Terminus space. Such abduction. Mm, not simple abductions. Wouldn't need me for simple. Entire colonies disappear without a trace. Very taken. No distress signals are sent out. Such wow. There are no signs Somebody of call Liam Neeson and get him on the case. There's virtually no evidence that anything unusual happened at all. Except that every man, woman, and child is gone. God. 
Gas, maybe? No. Spreads too slow. Airborne virus? No. Slower than gas. Drugged water supply? No. I like letting him talk a while and then and using yes. the interrupt before he Collected finishes. samples from one of the colonies. I'd like you to analyze them and figure out how the collectors did this. Yes, of course. Analyze the samples. I'm going to need a lab. There is a fully equipped lab on the combat deck, Professor Solis. If you find anything lacking, please place a requisition order. Who's that? Pilot? No. Synthesized voice. Simulated emotional inflections. Could it be? No. Maybe. Have to ask. Is that an AI? The ship there you is go. With an it's my boy. Intelligence. An AI on board. Non-human crew members. Cerberus more desperate than I thought. The collectors have taken tens of thousands of colonists. We'll do whatever we There's have that to word do taken to again. stop them. Yes, of course. Can't risk being captured like colonists need to identify neutralized technology. Need samples. That's right, Which Morton. Way to the lab? We're going to do that. Follow me, Professor. And with the end of that conversation, we naturally come to the end of this episode. Um, so thanks for watching, and please tune in next time, where we go off to Omega to recruit some kind of vigilante called Archangel. Bye!